In this video, I will explain in details how to prove by mathematical induction. I want to prove by mathematical induction that the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to the nth term is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. Now, there are three steps that we we'll use to prove by mathematical induction. The first step is to show that it is true for n equal to 1. Alright? For n equal to 1, you can see that I have 1 here at the left-hand side. So what I want to do is to plug in 1 into this expression at the right-hand side. If it gives me 1, which is equal to what is at the left-hand side, then it is true for n equal to 1. See what I'm saying? 1 is what I have at the left-hand side, okay? So let me plug in 1 for n in this expression and see if it will give me 1. At the right-hand side, we have n is 1. That will be 1 times 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, all over 2, okay? 1 plus 1 is 2, so I have 1 times 2, all over 2. 2 cancels 2. What's left is 1. Okay, so the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side, which is 1. That means it is true for n is equal to 1. Okay, so what do we do now in the second step? We will assume that it is also true for n equal to k. k is any positive number. Okay, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, plus k, in place of n, I'll put k, is equal to k, bracket k, plus 1, all over 2. Good. We will now show that... It is true for n equal to k plus 1. That is, this is where we have to be very, very focused. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus... Plus, to get the next term after k is to write k as a function of k plus 1. That's k plus 1. This one is a single term, which is equal to, in place of k here, I will write k plus 1. This function here is a function of k. I want to make it a function of k plus 1 at this point. So, this, this alone is k plus 1 k plus 1, then this is k plus 1 plus 1, all right? k plus 1, then plus 1, all over 2. All right, let's simplify it. So what we have now says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, plus k plus k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 in brackets. Okay, 1 plus 1, we add up to give me 2. k plus 2, all over what? 2. This is what we have to show. We want to prove this. This expression you can see here, this expression you can see here, from 1 to k, is what we have at this point. And this very expression here is equal to this, k times k plus 1 all over 2. So in place of this expression here, which we said is equal to this, we can write this one here. So this is what we have. k, bracket k plus 1 all over 2. I just replaced everything here from 1 to k with this uh, expression. Then plus k plus 1, k plus 1. 
So our job now is to manipulate or reduce this expression to get this. We have to simplify this very expression now to give us this. And when we are able to do that, then the proof is complete. Okay? So let's manipulate or simplify this expression to give us exactly what we have here. Now let's simplify now. By LCM, this is over 1. The LCM is 2. 2 into 2 is 1. 1 times k times k plus 1 is still k bracket k plus 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times k plus 1. That will be 2 bracket k plus 1. Okay. Remember the goal is to simplify this to get this. We can see that this expression can be factorized. Okay. Pick one of the k plus 1. Then this k plus 2 outside will form another bracket all over 2. So you can see now that the expression here that we've gotten is exactly what we have here. So it is true for n equal to k plus 1. And by this, it means that it is universally true for all n. Okay? This holds. I want to prove by mathematical induction that the sum 1 plus 9 plus 17 plus 25 up to the 8n minus 7th term is equal to n times 4n minus 3. We have to show that it is true for n equal to 1. All right. At the left hand side, I have 1. Let me plug in the value of 1 into this right hand side and see if the result will give me 1. If it is 1, then it is true for n equal to 1. So at the right hand side, I have 1 times 4 times 1 minus 3. Okay? This is equal to 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So it is true for n equal to 1. We'll make our assumption that it is true for some positive integers k n equal to k that is 1 plus 9 plus 17 plus 25 plus plus 8k minus 7 is equal to k bracket 4k minus 3. Yeah, I'm coming from here now. So, having made this assumption, we now have to show that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. So, we have to show that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. That is, let's watch this video very carefully. 1 plus 9 plus 17 plus 25 plus 8k minus 7. I will determine the next term after 8k minus 7. And to do that, I will make this function a function of k plus 1. That is, plus 8 bracket. In place of k, I will put k plus 1. k plus 1 minus 7. And which is equal to... In place of k here, I will put k plus 1. Likewise this. So I have k plus 1 in brackets. This will be 4k plus 1. 4 bracket k plus 1. Minus 3. Minus 3. So let's simplify for that. 1 plus 9 plus 17 plus 25. 8k minus 7 plus Okay, this is 8 times k, 8k, 8k, 
8 times 1 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. 8k plus 1. Okay, which is equal to k plus 1. k plus 1 in brackets. Then 4 times k is 4k. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 minus 3 is plus 1. This very sum that we have here is what we have at this point here. And this is equal to this. That means in place of this sum, I can put this. This is what I'm saying. In place of this, I'm going to write k times 4k minus 3. k, 4k minus 3 plus this, plus 8k plus 1. All right? So I want to simplify this expression to look exactly like what I have here. So let's go ahead and simplify this. k times 4k is 4k squared. k times minus 3 is minus 3k. Then plus 8k plus 1. All right, we have 4k squared. Minus 3k plus 8k is 5k plus 1. So we have to factorize this very expression. 4 times 1 is 4. I need two numbers I'll multiply to give me that 4. When I add, it will give me 5. And the two numbers are 4 and 1. Yes, because 4 times 1 is 4, which is the product of this 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. So in place of 5k, I will write... In place of 5k, I will write 4k. This is the 4. Then plus the 1k, which is k, plus 1. Remember that the goal is to reduce this expression to this very expression we have here. So I can factorize this now. 4k is common to these two expressions. Bring 4k out. Open a bracket. 4k squared divided by 4k is k. 4k divided by 4k is 1. What is common to these last two? k and plus 1. is just 1. k plus 1 will still appear inside. So you can see now that the brackets are the same. It's just for me to bring out one of the k plus 1. Then this 4k plus 1 will form another bracket. And this is exactly what we have here. We've just proven now that it is true using mathematical induction. Now that it is true for n equal to k plus 1, then this holds. The solution to this problem will be the next video. I'll see you there. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, and remember to share this video.